Right, welcome back. Um, if you've just, or welcome, if you've just watched the video of uh, Vecchio Molina 1 and you're clicking um, to have a look at Vecchio Molina 2 or it's come up in your feed, here it is. Um, and what we're doing today is that basically we've got uh, two houses um, owned by the same owner and they will sell either one or the other house. Um, or you can buy them together uh, if you so wish and um, that's absolutely great we are in a very small town called Mora um, and basically it's walking distance to a supermarket it's walking distance to a bar you uh, go along uh, this road I'm just passing my car you go along this road over here it's not in a um, elevated position but you've still got lovely views of the Umbrun countryside uh, you are in kind of village suburbia so you do have other houses which are quite close to you so if you want to be isolated this is not the house for you um, what do we know about this property well uh, we know it's very cute um, we know uh, its price uh, and its price is 110 thousand euros which you know in the scheme of things if you want to have your own little piece of Italy and this is it I mean look at the lovely views going up here look right okay Molino Vecchio 1 you see where the terracotta tiles end that's uh, the boundary line so you could um, put up a fence here um, and the west is over mm, there and east is there um, and so basically you will get lovely morning light so if you want to come out and um, have yourself breakfast under the brolly in the sun then you can um, so that's great you've got a little bit of a garden area here and you've got parking space for one car where my car was parked just there um, lovely blossom look oh god it's lovely don't you love that Okay, fine. What am I? What do I know about Mora? Well, it's got a church, and um, if you're listening, if you've already listened to uh, the first video of the first house, you've ah, God, something just flew in my eye. Um, <laughs> sorry. Ah, uh, God. <laughs> Must have been a moth or something. Um, it's got some amazing frescoes uh, by Luca Signorelli, who uh, travelled here on his journey, I think, to Arezzo and then fell in love with um, a farmer's daughter, as you do. Um, you have to watch the other video because I, I give a bit more information. Right, so you come straight in, front door, straight into the kitchen and the living room. It's quite cute. I mean, it's a rustic farmhouse. You know, you've got old, here, yeah, old, original, terracotta tiles which have been blackened by the fireplace over the years and then you've got kind of old rusty nails where they would have hung you know their salami on and things like that and then you've got a later addition you know I mean I don't know when that was built uh, look at that look well, you know turn of the turn of the last century built in cupboard space and also oh, this is very interesting you see that and uh, see this right where's the hole I bet it's behind there there you go there's your sink that's what it was straight out washed the water away uh, out of sight out of mind okay very cute oh Molino Vecchio 1. You see, I mentioned on that video that there was a beam there. So I'm assuming, maybe not. Maybe that's another level. I think it's another level, actually. So maybe there was some opening which went along here. Hmm. Okay, come on, let's go up. Uh, wooden staircase coming up on this one. It's quite rustic, this house. Right, so up we go. Uh, and we've got a wrought iron bell. It's going up. Okay. Into the bedroom. Oh, the bedroom's really nice size, actually. Oh, that's really nice. 
probably not so hot in the summer. Uh, oh look, they're quite nice. Yeah, wood cuttings. Yeah, Arthur. What's that, Hunter Blair? Oh, I have to look him up. Oh, they're really nice. All right. Okay. Fine. Oh, <sighs> Teddy. Fantastic. That's not really selling the house, but yeah. Uh, look. I don't hear any noise. I mean, I can. What can I see out the window? I can see a cat. Guarantee you, you're going to hear a farmer's dog. I just know you are. But uh, so you, you know, it's the you're in the countryside. Okay, uh, that's a nice ensuite. That's that's great. It's got a skylight, hasn't it? But that's all right. So it's a natural light coming inside. Huh. It's got a bee day. Nice plain tiles. That's very really kind of rustic. It's quite romantic, actually. If I see out the window. Um, to all my fans, the camera has adjusted. What do I see? I see nothing, actually. I see a building, I see another building, and I see the Umbrian countryside. Fantastic walks around here. You know, just get your walking boots on and off you go. Uh, what about the flooring? Let's have a look at that. Okay, that's not too bad. That's good. Terracotta. 30 by 15. I'm going to come down these stairs now. Let me see. Quite steep. Alright. I'm going to walk to the side. Uh, I did a video of a house this morning. Which we have in the market at 3.95 million. Um, and they had a beautiful staircase, but it didn't, had no banister. I thought, hmm. Yeah, for those of you that likes the um, that was very much a um. Right, okay, so back into the kitchen, and then I'm going to turn around here, and then you've got this staircase here. I'm just going to change hands with the camera. Okay, bear with me. Right, here we go. Oh, nice shelves. Put your books up. Forgotten skills in cooking. Oh. Right, down we go. Now. I know about this house, I should do because we're marketing it. This room, very nice room. It's got a bed in it. I'm going to pull back into the corner. It's actually a cantina. That's its destination, its legal destination. So, happy to rent it out. Um, happy not to rent it out. Happy to live in it. Um, I don't suggest that you rent it out. And then you've got this door here, right, that leads straight out. Um, and this here, you see, you get the bearing, look. Oh, there you go, a dog. You see that? That's my car. This is the backside elevation of the house. Here is the door that we've just come up, out of, sorry. I'm going to pan up. And you'll see the roof line of the house. Let's see, it's just about there. Right, and then it's semi-detached here on this side. And it looks like basically this, there's nobody living in this. And this here is a Strada Vincinale, which is a common road. Look at the color of the sky. It's just, <laughs> we gotta love Italy. Right, okay, so, this little track goes up. I, I don't think anyone's going to go there at all. Um, this house has a, a form of central heating, but it has these gas tanks to fire them up, I believe. Um, I need to check with that, and I'm sorry, guys, if I've made a mistake on that. But I think that's correct. Okay, so what do we know? I mean, we know that you can have a bed in here, do what you want in your own house. Can't really rent it out as a two-bedroom property. Could rent it out as a one-bedroom property. They've got some gym equipment. And then down here, there is a washing machine. What can I see? Uh, a little bathroom. It's got a shower in the corner. And uh, it's got a door um, and a little window. Let's have a look see. Okay, fine. So that looks out over there, look. Right. 
no B date here, here. Okay, all right, super. I'm gonna turn the lights off as I go along. Might come down and uh, just close those doors there. Right, thanks. And turn those ones. Okay, back up the stairs. You know, it's a little house in the countryside. No. It's probably a little bit negotiable, but 110,000 for a little bit of Italy. Doesn't really seem unreasonable. You meet some friends. Loads of things to do around here. Right, okay, I think I'm done. Uh, if you, if I've missed anything, just, you know, get the comments going down below and uh, we will reply. We do reply to all sensible comments. That's interesting, isn't it? Look at that. Really like that. Hmm. Right. Okay, well, thanks very much for uh, watching this video. Um, I would suggest right now what you do is that basically you uh, search on our videos on our channel and you have a look for Vecchio Molina 1 and have a look at that. Um, as I mentioned to you, they can be bought, uh, bought separately or they can be bought together. Um, this video is on Mil Vecchio Molino 2. Um, and basically, as I said to you, it's, uh, it's a little bit of Italy. There you go, your own little space in this amazing country. Um, my name is Nick Ferrand, I'm the founder of Abode. And um, please subscribe to our videos. We're trying to post as many as we can. Um, and please give us a like and uh, I look forward to uh, exploring another Italian house with you very soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.